Hi everyone, Steve Brooks from Bamboo Cloud here and I'm going to tell you about what's new in Wave 2 2022 in Dynamics 365 Business Central. So first things first, we are going to go through to changes in the bank rec. So bank rec functionality is not the most glamorous part of Business Central but it tends to be the least glamorous bits of the things that people use the most often. So there's some good changes here, particularly impacting our US customers. So Anyone using checks uh, in the system will find now that the bank rec changes mean that the check ledger entry is taken into account as well as just the bank statement lines. So this is going to make the matching much more effective and you will have to do a lot less manual matching on the bank rec. And second to that, there's also some prompts now when you set up new bank accounts about direct posting being turned on. So if you set up a new bank account posting group with a GL code that has direct posting turned on, it'll tell you that that's going to make the bank reconciliation more difficult to get right in future. So again, these things are quite small changes in terms of kind of big bang new functionality. But they will make a big difference because if you're reconciling your bank on a kind of daily, weekly or monthly basis, then having more accurate matching is going to make a huge improvement. Next up is account schedules. So account schedules have been renamed now to be financial reports. And this has kind of been a kind of underused area of uh, functionality, I would say, account schedules. They're actually really cool and they can do a lot of decent financial reporting without having to go through into Power BI or Jet Reports. So they've had a bit of a spruce up. They've been called financial reports. There are now tools through the system to kind of help you understand how the columns and the rows relate to the dimensions and how you can get the reporting set up in just the way you need it. So those tours through the system have also been matched with help files from Microsoft. So a couple of screenshots uh, in this video uh, or the presentation if you're looking at it. If you press F1 to see about that help when you're using the new financial reports, you'll be able to kind of dig into that in more detail. Like I said, it's a good bit of functionality. We always try to train on it. I think it gets um, underappreciated in, in Business Central. So I'd encourage you, particularly once your tenant's been upgraded to Wave 2, to take a look at that. Next up is jobs or projects and using item tracking. So not everybody that has inventory or stock uses item tracking, but those that do and of those that also use projects, which is perhaps a fairly niche group, which is why it might not have been included up till now. Now, if you do use item tracking and you do long-term contracting, then you can use those tracked items in your job planning lines. So previously those two features didn't work with one another. It's pretty cool that they can because you can see again in these screenshots that we can have a serial or lot tracked item onto an individual job. So it gives you that you know, more granular control of, of what's on the individual lines and you can get more accurate costing in your long-term projects. As I said, not something that in our customer base we have a huge number of people using, but it is an area that's been missing up till now. And nice to see Microsoft take that investment and put those two areas of functionality together and, and make them compatible. Moving on to one that again will impact a lot of people, just like the bank rec change, there's a new field called VAT date. So there are dates everywhere in Business Central, and I think it's one of the things that we see the most um, in customers that have moved from Sage, Zero, QuickBooks, you've got a lot of control over the dates in the system. But one of the things that was missing until now was being able to have a different date between posting date, document date, and the impact that that has on the VAT return. So there's a new field here, you can see in the screenshot, the VAT date, that's been added to Business Central. You can default it to being either posting date or document date, but crucially you can overtype it as well. So if you get that um, situation where an invoice has come in late, but it relates to the previous period and closing the ledgers and so on, you can make sure that the date that it hits the VAT return is correct. It'll be pulled through into the VAT entries, the GL entries, and you can change it at a later date if you need to. But in terms of accuracy and VAT reporting and not having to make corrections in future periods, again, it's a, it's a really cool feature. And then finally, OneDrive integration. So. Microsoft have continued to invest in collaboration features across Microsoft 365 and Dynamics 365. And the latest change in there is allowing things like editing Excel from uh, the browser, thanks to improved OneDrive integration. So once the OneDrive setup is complete, which is literally just a case of toggling a couple of features on, 
When you do things like edit in Excel from say the customers list, uh, as an example, you'll be able to open that in a browser tab rather than having to download the file and use the desktop version of Excel. The same applies to things like editing in Word. There's a lot more capability to allow you to stay in the browser for the whole time when you're working with Business Central. For things like attachments, we can add those into, say for example, a customer, you can add them a customer contract in as an attachment file, and then when you want to share that, you can share that as a, as a link, or you can send it out directly through, um, through Outlook as well or just share it if you're sharing it inside your um, tenant with somebody that you work with, so one of your colleagues. And again, you can see that in the screenshots here. So more collaboration across M365 is useful, not having to switch uh, applications, not having to change screens, not having to download files, not getting that this file is locked for editing message. So these sort of quality of life improvements may seem um, reasonably small when you first read about them, but then when you realize you use these features time and time and time again, they really improve the workflow through the system and ultimately the efficiency of using Business Central. So that's it, that's my top five. Thanks very much for listening and I hope you enjoy Wave 2 2022. Thanks.